Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today, I wanted to try something different and address a new kind of trend that's been going around the Hypixel, which is the simulator games in housing. So, I'm currently on a housing server, which allows you to get one heart every single second. Now, this server is quite popular, it's got 169 people online right now. So, this server is, like I said, you get one heart per second, and you have to try and get as far as possible along here without dying. Um, I'll explain the logistics of it in a second, but firstly, I just wanted to let you guys know of an idea I've had. So, lately, I have been coming across more and more of these kind of housing servers, and these simulator housing servers, especially um, parkour ones as well, actually, I've been enjoying those. Um, I've been playing and making parkour servers for a long time, probably, probably like three years, about as long as they've been a thing. On both Mindplex, I remember I used to do it on Mindplex, and on Hypixel. And I thought for a cool new, like, series to freshen up the channel a bit, give it some new kinds of videos, and since I haven't been posting much, I thought I would do, like, housing reviews. I've seen a couple of people do this before, one person in particular who inspired this kind of series is Mighty Man Douglas. Uh, be sure to check him out, he's got some very cool guides on housing servers, how to make housing servers, um, and doing reviews on people's servers as well. So if you want to have your housing server reviewed, um, yeah, I guess go comment on one of his videos, sub to him, he's got some pretty cool stuff. Very helpful guides. But um, aside from that, Let's give you guys a rundown of this housing, so if you ever wanted to do it, then you can do so. So, firstly, you will spawn here, and you will have, um, don't mind my inventory, I've been playing this a little bit. Um, so you'll join here, and you have all of these sections you have to get through. Uh, there's a few different stats, I'll go over your health first, since that's the most prominent thing. So, you go through these, and it will take off your... HP, which you can see down the bottom of your screen. I've got a lot of HP because I've got a lot of things called pets, which you can tear up and max out and level up, all sorts of things. I will go into a bit of detail about that, but probably not too much. Um, if you guys do want a part two to this housing though, be sure to let me know in the comments, or if you want more videos in general about housing reviews. But um, once you come through here, you've got these choices, take away 15 health, take away 10 health. Uh, that's pretty obvious, you go here, then here, um, 50 health or 100 health, and as you start off, you will get one heart per second, as you can see in the house name. Um, and you've got to go through all of these, wait through all of these, and get to this desert area. Now, you don't have to do all this, like, first. Um, if you want to progress how you're intended to, you could do that, but I highly suggest doing these little mini-games, the parkour mini-game, it's not really worth it. Find the button mini game is quite cool. Uh, you click this NPC here and it takes you to a find a button here. Find a button, five levels to complete for a reward. So you have to find a button. Um, I won't show you where the button is because that will kind of spoil it. But you gotta get through those five levels, you'll get a pet that quite literally 20x's your hearts per second. The button pet. I've also I've got all the mini game pets and a bunch of other ones. I'll get to those in a sector. Once you've got that, it's much easier to do all this stuff and get through here. Um, and here you can see, here you can see it requires 600 hearts to rank up. So um, I will turn back on unlimited mode so you can see there's a lot of different ranks. Um, I'll get to those in a sec though. Um, so you have to rank up by doing 600 health. I've already done this so I can't do it again. And then it will allow you to go to this next area. So I believe there's four areas you have to go to until you can get to the end. Um, so you keep doing this. You may notice along the way you have these little areas here, these little pockets where you can get a new stat called win. That's basically, like I said, a stat that you get along the way and you can build up. Um, the easiest way to do it is just to go all the way through here, past the French flag, uh, to the end, through here, through the nether, through the ice area. Oh yeah, one of the, I think the rank up further back there requires win, so you will have to do a little bit of that. Uh, through the snow area, through the coal and obsidian area, and through the house. 
and once you get to the end here, you can see you can rebirth. That costs 35,000 hearts and 1,000 win. Um, that's the rebirth. Now, you may be thinking, oh, MK, but rebirth, that's, that, that's so stupid. Um, it resets your inventory. Well, you can see here, first of all, you get fly, which you don't spawn with, by the way, a rank, and you get a three times faster hearts gain. It's pretty good. I'm currently only rebirth two, so um, you can only rebirth twice. Um, I've done both my rebirths. I haven't got to prestige yet, and I'll show you that in a sec. But you can rebirth, or you can go over here, the king area, which does require rebirth one, by the way. Which you can go to, and you have much difficult, much more difficult ones, negative 200, um, uh, 450, 700, I think it's 1.35 mil to get to the end there. And at the end there, you can get 5,000, you can claim 5,000 wins, which is a lot. But now, you, you can do all this, but what I highly suggest doing first is going to the shop, and you can see there are different shops, like Prestige Shop, and Normal Prestige Shop the second prestige shop which is prestige plus um and you can get these pets here so i'll explain this um as easily as i can it's kind of difficult to understand when someone's telling you but you'll get it eventually trust me um so you have all these different tiers of normal pets and then you have all these different tiers of other pets uh i don't know what you'd really call these but the normal pets you can get by Trading in win stats, your win stats for the pets. So the first one is a tier 1, then a tier 2, a tier 3, and so on and so forth. All the way up to what's called the max pet, or a tier 6, I just call it. And those are all those normal pets you can get. Now, um, by the way, if you are leveling up your pets, your tier 2 pet, for example, will cost your tier 1 pet as well. So to get all of these... It, you will have to get six tier ones. Yes, it's kind of annoying, but it's it's yeah, you know, it it, it's how it works. Now for these ones, you it costs these pets here. So this one costs two, two tier twos. This one costs two tier threes. This one costs two tier fours. All the way up to the divine pet, which costs two of these max tier six pets. And then the best pet in the game is the infinity pet, which costs one of every single one of these pets, which you can see I am wearing right now. But you can get all these pets, as I say, you can get all these pets by getting your win stats up. I have 4,200, I'm saving it for something else in a separate shop. So, the aim of the game is to get all the way to the end and rebirth twice. Now, that will take, oh, I don't know how much it takes, because it took me a couple of hours, but that's only because I had to keep keep asking people how to play the game. I didn't really know how to. I would suggest joining the Discord community, which is an NBC back down there. But once you do re rebirth twice, um, you can do slash god, which will take you to a completely different shop area with a lot of different things. All right, this is future AMK here. While I'm editing this video, I realize I don't really explain this whole thing very well. So I would highly suggest going onto the server and asking people yourself. Um, however, I would highly appreciate it if you would watch the video because it's more watch time and stuff. And yeah, thank you. Um, I will, I tried to do, explain my best, but it's kind of complicated. And I didn't write a script for this because I'm stupid. Uh, but I'm too lazy to go back and do it again. So, yeah, hopefully it isn't too bad. Now, I will go over this as simply as I can. Um, but like I said earlier, if you do want a more in-depth description of everything that goes on here, there's a lot of different rooms you can go to and buy things. I will do that for you. But I will just go over things as easily as possible. A lot of these things will take a long time to get to and they're in-game items. So there is a lot of progression you can do in this game besides going through those areas um, and surviving and rebirthing. So once you've got some kind of my stage where I'm at right now, you will have, you'll be able to get the god rank. Now this requires prestige 2, so you have to prestige twice and 1 million hearts. That sounds like a lot, but once you get your prestige 2, which by the way I forgot to say, once you prestige a second time, it increases accumulatively from three times to five times health. So once you've got your prestige two, 
Um, you can get the god rank for 1 million hearts, which won't take too long, just do a little bit of AFK time. Um, AFKing is very useful in this. Doesn't really work in the short run, but in the long run it does, trust me. Um, so once you've got that, you will it will increase to 7 times hearts per second, which basically um, just allows your thing to go faster. It's, it will increase to 7 hearts per second. It will um, delete all your stats, however and your inventory which is annoying but you can get them back faster with the stuff obviously which is what which is the whole point of it um what i'm saving up for right now is the heart clicker uh you can see the heart fragment every time i click it gives me one health i can spam click this it won't really change too much um you can upgrade this to the heart clicker and i believe there's another one i don't know how to get it yet though unfortunately um this does cost twenty thousand win and a heart frag i don't i think you just get this from um, a cookie goal, which is when people give enough cookies, I think it's every thousand or every 500 cookies given, I'm not sure. Um, if you don't play housing, cookies are just something you can give to housing. I've already given them one. You get 10 every week and... Alright, sorry about that guys, my computer just ran out of storage and that time I got over 1.8 million hearts. Um, I'm not playing. <laughs> Anyway, what I was saying was, what was I saying again? Oh yeah, so there are a lot of other things around here you can get, including the Steve Pet. Here, it says it's really OP. I don't actually remember what it gives you, but um, it costs um, a tier 3 pet, Infinity Pet, which I will get to in a sec, don't worry, and 125 million hearts. Um, there's also a Cursed Steve, which I'm not quite sure what does. Um, uh, then there's also a legendary Steve Pet, which costs 555,000 win. That's a lot. And a, and a Steve back there. Um, there is the ranking up system, which I will show you now. Here it is, legend rank. So this costs 60 million hearts, and this will be what gets you to your first prestige. Now it says, now it says it's just for a flex, doesn't give bonus win. It actually does help you. So, if once you get the legend rank, you can go through here and get the legend plus rank, which costs the legend rank and 1 billion health. It's a lot, but you can get it with the pets. Um, around here, I'll get to that button in a sec. How many times have I said get to it in a sec? There's so much to show. There's the legend plus plus rank, which is the big one, or the big big flex, which costs a legend point plus legend plus that kind of makes sense a uh, legend point by the way is you can see on the side of the screen here i believe there's an lp command no there isn't um and that's one that's equal to one billion health so i think it's the same amount of health as that one for this one and you need legend plus plus to prestige which is over here now prestige rank now the prestige is very useful because it gives you a base 500,000 health per second, which is a lot, and has access to special item coming soon, <laughs> apparently. Not coming. Um, okay, and it will also reset all your stuff as usual, except for legion points, they don't reset. And you can, and you keep your seven times booster. And prestiging costs one legend plus plus rank. 500 legend points so that's 500 billion that's right 500 billion hp well that's what it's equal to and 100 million win that's a lot um and that's prestiging once prestiging twice is oh wait where, where do i see it now i can't remember but i th i heard someone say it was 1.25 trillion hp uh, this guy just reminded me, we need to do, if you can do, if you do slash upgrade, you can see, you can come over here, into the upgrade section for the infinity, uh, infinity, right, uh, yeah, infinity pet. Uh, you can upgrade this to tier 1, tier 2, tier 3, which each give you more HP per second. So you can see this one costs 1000 win, and I can actually do that now. So let's see, this goes from 55 per second to, if it will work, 70 per second, nice. That's a decent amount. Um, 
Now the next one is 200. Oh yeah, we can do this one as well. Boom. 100. And this one costs 40 million, which I can't do yet. But that's good. That will increase us our HP a lot. Oh, that's all. I can already see that going up faster. Nice. Um, so, uh, there is info in here if you want to see it. Um, yeah, if you want to pause the video and have a look at that, feel free. I probably didn't explain it very well. It makes sense in my head. <laughs> um, so that's how you upgrade the Infinity Pet. And the last thing you want to see, or second to last thing you want to see, actually, um is i just gotta find it oh yeah of course and you can convert you can convert one billion health and deletion points by the way i've got to say oh yes so that button back there is a button by the legendary steve pet which you can click um i forgot what was there uh there's a few other pets you can get um the ultimate pet which is the best pet in the game it's a very sussy pet <laughs> that's for sure so this costs Every pet in the game, except for the mini game pets like these and the cookie pet, which you can get from the cookie rules like I, that I explained earlier. Um, oh no, sorry, this isn't the best pet in the game. What am I saying? Um, so you get the ultimate pet. You can trade the two of the ultimate pets in for the galaxy pet. Over here, there's armor. I'll show you that in a sec, like I always say. Um, and the best pet in the game is 1 billion health, a galaxy pet, and a galaxy pet for the universe pet. That's the best pet in the game. I don't know what it gives, but I'll, you'll have to ask someone in the chat. And finally, armor rooms. Get some good armor here. You can see this all costs legend points, 23, 23, 22, so that's 66 legend points for this whole set. And this one costs all of these. And the 150 legend points, and these cost those, which cost those. But that's pretty much it. I'm sorry if this didn't make that much sense. I tried my best to explain it. Um, you, if you do join this, uh, be sure to ask people in the chat. I have found the people in the chat being very helpful, so I would highly suggest doing that. Um, I also feel like talking about everything is also made more understanding for me because there's a couple of things I wasn't sure about and as I've talked about them, it's kind of made sense. So, um, oh no, look, we've got the abilities here. 15,000 HP per second and 10 win per second because there are pets that can get you win, wins per second as well. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Um, if you want to see more housing reviews in the future or a more in-depth guide for when updates come out for this housing, let me know in the comments. Um, we're trying to get to 500 subs, so if you do subscribe, I would highly appreciate it. It does more than you'd expect for the channel. Um, it also helps with my morale. With my, it also helps with my overall morale. <laughs> However, I'm not here to force you, so yeah. Um, I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you all soon in another... Oh my god, that's close up. Okay, thank you. I will see you all soon in another video. Goodbye.